Well, hello there. <laughs> oh man, it has been a roller coaster of a week. So, <laughs> where do I even start? So, I found this adorable lab mix dog that was a stray and it just got out. And he was, a, he's a big dog. So he's like, like I said, Labrador mix and his name was Gus and he was very sweet. So I found him just kind of roaming around and I stop, I open my door and I said, hey buddy, you know, like just to get his attention if I had to try to figure out if he has a tag, collar, like you name it. And, um, I, and I get him and he doesn't have a tag. He has a collar, but doesn't have a tag. And, you know, I am driving around the neighborhood that I found him in and seeing if anyone's looking for him. And I, I don't find anybody. So I'd go and take him to the vet. He has a chip, the chip calls a number. And they said, hold, can you hold on to him until they contact you? And I was like, okay. And I wait and I wait and granted, I usually don't do, do like, I usually am like nervous about like bringing a bigger dog in to meet Milo because Milo is so small. And I, I was nervous about that, but I'm like, you know what? I, I can't just leave this dog. It's just, I, I can't just like drop this dog somewhere in the shelter and just think whatever. Like, it's just, I couldn't do it. So I buy him home and hung out with him. He was very sweet. He was very um, attached to me. And then I introduced him to Milo and it goes kind of okay. I mean, it's two male dogs. So it's like, you never know what's gonna happen. And the fact that Gus is bigger and you know, he's actually a little younger, so a lot more energy to him. Anyways, so it's fine. Like they're, they get, they're like, they tolerate each other is the best way to describe it. And I, <laughs> I get a little nervous about leaving him alone and so we just luckily I didn't have um, practice and didn't have game or I ended up having a game but Jordan stayed home and they seemed fine still nothing from the from from anybody like I haven't got a call from anybody and I'm like okay it's weird I'm nervous like because you know unfortunately we can't keep him as much as I would like to and like I would you know uh, it's just, um, I'm definitely a little bit more empathetic. Like I wouldn't want to, I, I don't, wouldn't want to take a dog to a shelter. And I was like, okay, well, overnight, I'll stay with him overnight. And then next morning we'll figure something out. And so next morning I ended up posting on like Facebook and also posting on different, um, um, sites for for him, you know, with pictures of him, description and all that. And almost immediately I got responses with the owner and it was so, uh, it was so relieving because I was very nervous that I would have to take this dog to the shelter. And like I said, I don't know if I could be able to handle it because it's just, he was a very nice dog and he was very sweet, he was very cuddly and, you know, you know, touched my heart. That's the best way to put it. Ooh. And, but luckily I got in contact with the owner and I just finished dropping him off. And so that was a happy ending to that story because I didn't know what that ending would be. And so that's been uh, what's been kind of going on. And I, yeah, so it's been an emotional roller coaster <laughs> with that of like freaking out about like having to take the dog to the shelter, which I don't think is a bad thing. Like I would rather someone take the dog to a shelter, take a dog or a pet to the shelter where he can be, he or she can be cared for and maybe find a new home or go back to their own normal home. But like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just for me, like I would have a hard time doing it. It's just like, it's giving up a dog. Like I wouldn't be able to obviously give up Milo. Like if I was in the situation where I had to give up Milo, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have the heart to give it to a shelter. I would give it to like another family but that again that's just me and I'm pretty sure there's I might get comments of like shelters are great or I make comments of shelters are horrible it's just it I honestly don't know because I I know my plan is once we get once we decide we're gonna get another dog I plan to go and go 
to the shelters first just because I feel like that's, that's just how I feel about that. I, I don't plan on purchasing like a dog from a puppy mill. It's just because my, with Milo's story, like if you don't know, like Milo was found in the city by a friend of mine and she couldn't keep him because she already had multiple dogs and she was living in an apartment. She, was, she couldn't have a third dog. At that time, I was in my first house and I said, I have room for him. Let's just see, you know. And she goes, well, we actually found another family that could take him. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Never thought about it again. And then they messaged me again. Hey, so that family ended up not being able to keep him can you still take him? I was like, sure. Uh, at least let's see how he feel, how he is with the other dog. Because obviously, if it doesn't work, or if they don't mesh, or you know, they end up fighting each other, then that's not obviously not a good fit. And so he ended up being, they brought him over, and he ended up being a good fit. So uh, that's why I ended up keeping him, and I don't plan on getting rid of him ever. <laughs> And, and so it's like, I kind of, I want to do the same thing. Now Gus, like they got along fine. I think over time it would have been fine, but Gus was very territorial of me. I think it's because I found him. And so he just like, all he's all, I, I was all he knew and he was scared and he was anxious cause he like got lost, you know? So yeah, I was, I was very nervous and scared that I wasn't going to be able to like get him Funny enough, it was kind of the same story the owner told me was that uh, her son found him and it was a gift for his sister and um, and they decided to keep him. So it was very similar to Milo. Like I couldn't, yeah, I, ah, man, that was a, that was an emotional roller coaster, emotional few days. So I'm going to go home, have some lunch, decompress like a little bit. And then get back to it. I, but I haven't been really vlogging. I haven't vlogged like this week. It's Thursday as I'm vlogging this. And this is a long intro. <laughs> I'm just jabbering away. My bad. Anyways, um, I just haven't vlogged much this week. Just like I said, it's been a real busy and emotional roller coaster. So I just haven't felt like picking up the camera naturally. So. So here you are, welcome to another vlog, and let's see what the rest of the day entails. Hello there, so I just finished kind of doing my hair because I'm actually going to film a couple things in a little bit, but I got an Amazon order in here, <laughs> and it is actually two pairs of leggings that I figured I'd try on for you guys. I actually purchased a fleece pair a couple weeks ago that I'm like, they're like okay and they'll do for like the rest, the rest of the winter but I know like spring's coming and if you are new, I am now coaching uh, a lot. I'm actually coaching with my husband as well as uh, might be coaching uh, soccer, by the way, <laughs> I should state what sport. I'll be coaching. I'm coaching uh, soccer with my husband as well as um, my own uh, team, and so the uh, team is black. Uh, pretty much is the base color, and they want all the coaches to wear that. And I found I didn't really have. A l I didn't really have black leggings. I had two pairs of black leggings and one of the pairs I was just not a fan with. Uh, I did buy another pair from Target as well, which I think I needed to size down on. Again, I'll link everything down below, but I purchased uh, two more pairs uh, from Amazon and these, I'll uh, pop a picture up uh, from the brand, if I could find it. Um, Fen, Feng Bay, Feng Bay. Again, it's on Amazon and they seem okay. They don't, they seem like they'll be short. I try to, honestly, I try to get some like full, full size leggings, but these seem like they're really short. So I may have to return them. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. So 
I'm gonna try these on real quick. Okay, so I have the black ones on, and the material is really soft. It has pockets on both sides, which is really nice, and there's a little like key pocket in here, and they fit decent. I just wish like they were longer, but I know I have uh, long legs for my size. So, I mean, they're not bad. It was a two pack for around like $30. Let's see. I just, I mean, I definitely wanted to get some with pockets so that way I have a place to put my phone um, and I'm not carrying like a purse out there. Um, yeah, these aren't bad. They're definitely comfortable and they feel really thick. So let me try on the gray ones. Okay, so here are the gray ones. It's almost like a blue gray, which I actually don't mind. And they, f yeah, they pretty much fit the same. The length seems like a little longer. Like I said, it's a very thick material, which I really like, and they feel comfortable. So I'll have to let you know if like they like roll, because I mean, soccer is a very active sport, especially in the legs they roll if I feel like I have to like constantly be doing this, which that's another thing. I'm not really like a leggings girl. Like you really wouldn't see me wearing leggings just like out and about. It's not something like I'll go to, like I wouldn't necessarily wear like leggings and a sweater and boots and like that's just, I just don't like leggings that much. So for me, like the fact that I actually, you know, I honestly give these like, an A minus and only because of the length. I think they're very comfortable. I think the material is very thick and very soft. And like, I feel like it's, they're not see-through even though it's gray. And the fact that they come with pockets. Yeah, I, so I would definitely recommend these. I will link these down below if you're looking for some leggings that are affordable. I know I wanna try the Abercrombie leggings. Um, to see if I'll like them. Maybe I'll turn into a leggings girl with just me trying all these different kinds of leggings on, uh, just because I know I will be a lot more active. And then, yeah, there. Target, I know has some decent ones, but I haven't really found like my favorite leggings from Target. Right now, The uh, my favorite is still the AS Revival from Altered State. I just love the, um, like the little V action that happens on uh, their leggings. I think it's just a lot more flattering. It makes me look more proportionate since I am mostly legs. Uh, if you want to check those out, I will link them down below as well. But yeah, I'm happy with these leggings. Sweet. So uh, now I'm actually gonna grab some lunch. It's about time for lunch uh, real quick and then I'm finally gonna make bread. I'm finally gonna do it. <laughs> I have been pushing this off like for at least a week, but I'm finally gonna do it and bring the bread maker out and see if I can be successful. And if so, then I no longer have to buy bread. So I'm gonna grab some food and then I will be right back. Okay, so we are in my kitchen because I'm gonna make bread and I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. So the bread maker I have is the Hamilton Beach Bread Maker. Uh, I, will link it, I will link it down below. You can get it off Amazon. It's the, art, sorry, the Artisan Bread, bread Maker. I don't know why that's so difficult to <laughs> say. So this actually has a ton of different options and I'm honestly, today, I'm just gonna make like just the basic bread loaf until I can kind of get comfortable with using it. So the bread maker came with a recipe book, but I'm sure there are a ton of recipe books or recipes online. But for this one, it's just gonna be the recipe from their book. Again, so I can just get a little bit more comfortable and trying different types of bread. So I'm gonna be doing the just basic white bread, which you could use for sandwiches, toast, whatever. You. So. And then, and then for the size, I'm gonna be used, just doing the one pound. Again, 
testing out. So I'm actually gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Also, if you hear like washer, dishwasher, or whatever, those both those are going because I've been like cleaning and doing stuff around the house this morning. So I'm gonna move you guys. One sec. Okay, so let me just plug this in. So here is I can pull it up. Okay, so I cut that out. Man, that thing is in there. So here is the little bucket to put the bread in. So let's see. All right, so I need three quarter cups of water, which I will grab with the fork. Okay, so for bread, you definitely need to use exact measurements. So here's three quarter cups of water. And it's specifically stated to do these in the order um, that the ingredients are listed. So pretty much just like typical baking where you need to uh, follow the recipe exactly and do it in a certain order. Okay, so I need one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Then it said two teaspoons of sugar. Wait, do I need to have this paddle in there? Probably should have a paddle in there. So this is the kneading paddle. So there. That's gonna need our bread. Okay, so then two teaspoons of sugar. One. Two. Okay. And then. Oh, funny enough, this uh, bread maker comes with its own uh, measuring cups and measuring spoons as well. I just didn't even see them, so I just grabbed those. Okay, so this is, I'll need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm just using olive oil instead of regular vegetable oil because I just don't have any, so we'll just see how this goes. I just personally don't like using, um, This is confusing. There's like a line there, but I don't know if I need to use the line or if I need to use... That's confusing. I just don't like getting like vegetable oil. That's just me. I don't like using it. I don't say anything about the measuring spoon and the line. Well, one way to find out. Okay, it's definitely not the line, so good to know. Fine, I'll just use this as I'm more comfortable. says two and a half cups of bread flour. So I got this bread flour. Actually, this is the King Arthur Baking Company uh, bread flour. And I got this actually off of Thrive Market. So it says it's unbleached, but it actually is white. Okay, two and a half cups of bread. Two 
publisher put on an apron since I'm going to film a sit down video after this. So, so I'm going to be very precise. So that's one cup. this out actually a little bit because it's my understanding you shouldn't mix yeast with any of your liquids so I did get these packets of active yeast also on Thrive Market so I'm gonna test these out however I think what the problem is each packet is approximately two and a quarter teaspoon and for this particular particular a recipe this is saying uh, one and a quarter teaspoon. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to hoping that these are yeah they're sealed. My phone is going off. I'm gonna do this. Okay. So then I'm gonna just measure this out. Here's a teaspoon. this works. So that's one teaspoon. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this off. I'm wondering if I can maybe save these I'll save this. I'll look into that after I get this started. And then set it Doesn't seem like there's a lot in here. Okay. So, okay. So that's the beauty of these. You put the this in here and you want to lock it in. Okay. So that's in. And then I'm gonna close the okay. So I think I got it going, it's starting to knead. You can see there, got timer. Well, it's not really a time, like that's gonna be the total amount of time between kneading. So that's what the different uh, icons are right there of where the process is at. And then, of course, this is how like dark your crust is. This is the size. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be for something else. But like I said, it was kind of fighting me and I'm not like 100% sure. So we'll just have to see how this works out. So I'm gonna go film a video and then we'll check back in on this in three hours. Okay, the bread is done. And if you might hear some sounds in the background, Jordan is playing Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> okay. You can kind of see it right there. light than I expected. It turned into a ball. So I'm actually going to dump this onto a cooling rack. Ta-da! This actually needs to be cleaned. So you can see there's the bread. There's a little divot for where the uh, kneading, knee, kneading paddle was. But not bad for the first go. It's a little 
it's a lot smaller than I thought, so I think maybe next time I'll do the two pounds. But I'm gonna let this cool a little bit longer and then I'll slice it and see if we like it. Honestly, it was really easy to use. I just was having a tough time doing some of the settings and I think it's just because I, again, trying to figure it out and I didn't really see some of the dashes and stuff like that. But overall, it was really easy to use and that was three hours. So it'd be great if like you need to do some, uh, need to have some bread for the next day, or um, you want to start really early in the morning, and then that way you have bread for lunch. Like I think it's fine uh, to do that. Um, let's see. Now the bread is actually really warm, and the crust seems to be pretty good. So yeah, overall, like my first impressions is. That was pretty easy, just following a recipe and pressing a button and it's good to go. Figuring out the buttons was a different uh, <laughs> different issue altogether, but I think um, I'll, ha I'll get the hang of it as I do it more. So I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and then we'll slice it. So I've had a bread maker before and I used to make bread all the time and pizza dough, so I always wanted one again and i was really happy that we got this actually in our wedding registry but again i'll link it down below if you're interested in getting a bread maker and i think the ingredients overall were fairly inexpensive so that's all and like sugar and salt and vegetable oil you're always going to have on hand um, but just getting the bread flour and the yeast would be the uh, thing you would need to purchase separately and not something that most people have in their pantries but yeah Overall easy, I can't complain. We'll just have to see how it tastes. Okay, I'm going to slice it and see how it tastes. I guess I'll go, yeah, I guess I'll go this way. I was telling Jordan we need a bread knife because I thought we had one. Huh. Looks nice in the middle. Feels soft. Feels soft. Well, let's see taste. <gasps> now, do you want me to slice it now so we can use it, or like for sandwiches and stuff? I'm not against that idea. Mm -hmm. As a you want me to slice it now? Yeah, or maybe a little thinner than that. This would be definitely be a good addition for like dinners and stuff. Yeah. If you can make it thinner, that'd be great. Mm. Well, the thing is, I think it's one of those where, if I remember correctly, honestly, you slice it when you want it. Like, if yeah. you want to make a slice, uh -huh. you, yeah. you slice it. So, we'll just do that. No, I keep it. Overall success! <laughs> really delicious. Yeah. So. Good job, man. Thank you. So, there is other recipes in here. So, there's French bread. Um, is there a banana bread, banana bread recipe? There's sweet bread, which is a cranberry orange pecan recipe. Interesting. There's some like expresses, so it's a little bit quicker. So bread will be heavier, it says. Um, there's some gluten-free bread, which is just changing the ingredients. Artisan dough, so we can get um, rosemary garlic boulet. We can go whole grain, I just did white, and then recipes for dough, like for dinner rolls and pizza crust. And then you can also do it where you can make a frozen bread dough, or a bread dough that you can freeze. So that way you can make a bunch at a time and then just bring that out when you want to make some bread. Yeah. Overall, success. Well, hello. Um. I am out and about and running some errands and going to be doing something that I haven't done in a while, actually. And it is just going and shopping at the mall. Um, I actually do have a specific reason, is I need to get uh, some shoes for Sierra's wedding. And then, ooh, 
have some like gifts I need to pick up so it's not really shopping for me but I'm just doing little errands like that uh, today and then I'll come home and uh, do some just stuff around the house I think if I find the shoes I need to then I'll start working on hemming the bridesmaid's dress which I've been talking about for numerous vlogs and I'm just gonna do it this week get it done and over with it really shouldn't take long I don't it's just I it's better to hem when you have like when you have the shoes you're gonna be wearing and you no know, like it just makes it a little bit more precise I mean I could do it where I was just like barefoot because I'm gonna be wearing like bands but I I just would rather have like the shoes on just in case there's like a platform in them and my biggest like pet peeve was sewing it, especially like making a dress or a formal uh, attire is uh, I hate it when the dress is too short. It's like, if for me, like long, I can kind of deal with, but with the dress is too short, I it, it just drives me nuts. It's just one of those weird pet peeves that I have when it comes to, um, styling and uh, uh, clothing design is just if it seems off balance and, and if the dress is too short that's pretty much the biggest thing for me and that's why I was just so particular of making sure I had the shoes uh, I had the shoes before I did it so and a call and also in normal fashion a bunch of other projects popped up before uh, popped up that and of course in normal fashion um, a couple projects popped up in and they were due earlier but I guess is, is the best way to put it and so I just got put on the back burner but I can't put it on any early, uh, longer because she is getting married in a little over a month yeah a little over a month get on it and then I have my other bridal dress I need to work on as well so I'm just gonna do the honestly I'm hoping I can just go in get everything and get out I, I don't plan on just walking around uh, leisurely I plan to go in get what I need and get out so it's not as quite of a fun mall trip but I mean I wanted to get it done as soon as possible today and that way I can get some other things done and yeah so that's my Monday and we have practice later it's actually warm starting to warm up it's supposed to be almost 80 today which I'm really excited about because I am really getting tired of being cold that's just, I'm uh, I just want to wear shorts and a t-shirt and just enjoy the warm weather yeah I'm I'm not uh, the biggest fan of the cold, but I deal with it. So I will check back in with you guys later, and hopefully I can get everything done fairly quickly. And that way, I'm hoping to get maybe in a little workout before practice. I think that would be like just a quick one. So, and then I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that. But at, so like at practice, I ended up standing a lot more. And I thought I might be a little more active, but it's like I'm coaching. I'm not, I, I demonstrate the drill and then like the kids do it. It's not like I'm doing the drill with them. Sometimes I am, but for most part I'm not. So I need to get in a better habit of like, of doing some sort of workout um, session before practice. That way I make sure I keep moving. Cause I found like, I found that like in the past week I've just been very sluggish and I noticed that um, definitely, I, I really noticed that when uh, we played on Friday and it was just like, oh yeah, uh, I need to get back to moving more, you know, and I, and get back on track with that particular goal. So I will check back with you guys here in a little bit. <laughs>
it is bright in here. Oh, and it's actually really warm. Okay, uh, I, <laughs> I got some really cute stuff. So I was shopping for vans and uh, surprisingly, the Vans store didn't have like what I was looking for in terms of color or like at least like any sort of design maybe. I don't like, I, they just didn't have a lot of options. And so I was walking around and uh, surprisingly Journeys had better options. And so I got actually, tech, uh, I actually got three pairs of shoes. I'm gonna check with Sierra which one she wants and then uh, I'm most likely return the other pair that she doesn't like. Uh, but I will show you actually. And then I ordered a pair of Adidas that I've been wanting forever since I was a kid. But here are the first pair of bands. They're these really cute blue high tops. I haven't had Vans high tops in so long, but I love the color. And it's like the closest to like the bright, jewelry kind of tone. I feel like maybe this is a little lighter than um, what she's like envisioning. So again, I'm gonna double check with her, but I really liked these. We're also high tops. I guess I was just really drawn to the high tops. Are these really cute ones? With this light blue and then it has embroidery with like bees on it that was super cute for spring and I thought it'd be fun for like the wedding but again um I'll show her but I thought they were super cute and then I got a pair of Adidas like I was saying and those are gonna actually be shipping to me and they'll come uh later and I'll show you those probably in the next vlog and then I went into Box lunch. Well, you saw that I went to Altered State and I thought there's a bunch of cute stuff for brides and I was gonna I was gonna let Sierra know like if she was looking for something specifically for her for the bachelorette, for the bridal shower that's coming up. Um, and then if she wants to go shopping again, I'll go totally go with her. But I the other thing is it's her birthday also coming up, and I went into box lunch and I went nuts with the pins, but I found these really cute so Sierra would already have these before I think this video, but Sierra, if you're watching this, click off so you're not surprised, or so you don't ruin the surprise. But uh, I got this little notebook because she loves Disney animals and Disney dogs, and I thought this was super cute. And then this uh, Lady and the Tramp pen set I thought was super cute. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta get those. Like, that's, that's such a cute combo. And then she and I are both pin collectors. And so I got a bunch of pins. Like I, a little, I went nuts with the pins. Yeah, Sierra, don't you, you better not be cheating. <laughs> okay, so she loves Harry Potter and actually she and my husband have been talking so much about the new Harry Potter, Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, so and she yeah we've all been like talking about it and playing that game so i saw this really cool pin says i saw i solemnly swear that i'm up to no good and has uh pictures of the each patronuses obviously if you're not a harry potter fan you won't know what this is but i found that one and and i saw this again she loves dogs so i found this really cute uh dante dog pin and then her favorite Disney princess is uh, Rapunzel from Tangled. And I found this really cute pin set. So she's getting married. So she has, she's getting her fin. And then I got this really cute, um, why am I blanking on his name? But it's the chameleon's, what? Pascal, why, why, why did I blank on that? But yeah, I got Pascal. And then I got, we, so she and I both gift each other these and it's these little uh, blind box pins. And this one, this particular set is all the animals. I'm really hoping that she gets the Dalmatian cause she loves Dalmatians, but I'm pretty sure she'll love any of these. So yeah, that's what I got. And I was in there a little over an hour. Yeah, I wanna say a little over an hour, so. I am gonna head back, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. That's been, I think I feel like this vlog has particularly been just like a little over the place and 
like I said, last week was just such a, like I felt so sluggish last week. So I'm gonna head home. I have some stuff I need to do around the house. I got some editing to do. Gotta get back on my video grind and then we got practice. So, so I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, I would love if you hit the like button and also subscribe if you are new here and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. I'm hoping to do two to three videos a week. I'm working on it. And if you're not already, please follow me on Instagram. It is at from hem to stem. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head home, grab some lunch, and thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.